Hello everyone, it's Fiona, and welcome to our Arne Insights series, where we answer some of the most common questions from our customers. Let's start the episode 1, Injection Molding versus 3D Printing. Which one to choose? Injection molding involves using a specialized hydraulic or electric machine to melt plastic, which is then injected into a metal mold to take its final shape. 3D printing or addictive manufacturing relies on computer-aided design to create three-dimensional objects layer by layer. 3D printing is often used in the early stages of product development for validation, such as appearance and assembly checks as well as for customizations. However, injection molding is commonly used for producing the end product after the design has been perfected. To specify, we conclude a checklist to help you make a better choice between injection molding and 3D printing. Demand quantities. For low volumes, typically a few pieces, 3D printing is more suitable and cost-effective. However, injection molding shines when it comes to higher volume, production runs of hundreds, thousands, or even more pieces. Design complexity. 3D printing allows for intricate designs with gaps or holes in the middle, making it ideal for complex geometries. In contrast, injection molding works best for designs based on one continuous form that requires strength and durability. Turnaround time. Injection molding typically requires more time due to the design analysis and building of a perfect mold, which can take 20 to 30 days. For 3D printing at Rapid Direct, we can deliver parts as fast as 3 days. Material strength 3D printed parts are made layer by layer, which can result in visible ridges and structural faults, making them less suitable for applications requiring high strengths. In such cases, injection molding provides more robust and reliable parts. Surface finish. Since 3D printing is a layer-by-layer -layer process, which creates a rigid surface on finished objects, even with fine layer details, this often requires additional post-processing for smoothing, whereas injection molded parts have a smoother finish from the start. Material wastage. For large batches, it's the right choice as injection molding minimizes wastage by using only what's necessary for each design. However, certain 3D printing technologies might incur some wastage in building support structures. In summary, 3D printing is better in prototyping and small batch runs, handling complex parts with frequent design changes and customizations. In contrast, Injection molding is better for large volume production of less complex parts, requiring precision and consistency. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts below. More Art Insights episodes are on the way, so be sure to subscribe to Rapid Direct to stay updated. Bye!